Welcome you all to part 2 of semiconductors. In this session, we will be studying about types of semiconductors. Semiconductors are broadly classified into two types. Intrinsic semiconductor and extrinsic semiconductor. Extrinsic semiconductors are again classified into two types. N-type and P-type semiconductors. So let us start with the intrinsic semiconductors. Intrinsic semiconductors are inborn semiconductors. Means they are pure semiconductors. For example, let us take pure silicon and pure germanium are intrinsic semiconductors and how are these atoms let us check it out so silicon and germanium are tetravalent in nature means these atoms have four valence electrons and the various atoms are held together by covalent bonds what is the meaning of covalent bond this is a bond which is formed by sharing of electrons okay how actually the crystal structure is let us check it out now right so these are the silicon atoms sir so how many electrons are there four electrons are there okay we have seen that there are four valence electrons and the all these atoms are held together by covalent bonds and this is the dotted lines are covalent bonds and these bonds are formed by sharing of electrons okay let me call these electrons are called as bonding electrons now here they are bonded now here so let me call it as bonding electrons are these electrons responsible for the conduction of current no do you remember the electron which becomes free is responsible for the conduction of current okay now now our um, idea is we need to make these electrons free and let, we make we, we need to move it so that we get a current here okay let us check it out how to do, do that okay let me take this in the form of band theory okay there are two bands we have studied that one is valence band and another one is conduction band band is nothing but group of energy levels valence band is nothing but group of energy level of valence electrons the band above the valence band is called as conduction band where free electrons are present where conduction electrons are present if more number of conduction electrons in conduction band then it conducts more if less uh, number of electrons it conducts less so this is the idea about the band theory okay at temperature is equal to 0 kelvin what happens all the electrons are in valence band here right there are no electrons in conduction band means this is the uh, band so what we see in insulators so let us conclude that intrinsic semiconductor at 0 kelvin behaves as an insulator then what happens what happens if you increase the temperature if you increase the temperature the electrons which are present in valence band get sufficient thermal energy okay if you increase the temperature it gets sufficient thermal energy and they jump to the conduction band let us check it out what happens when electrons jump to the conduction band okay this electron jumps to the conduction band and what is created here a vacancy is created and let me call that vacancy as a hole here okay and this electron also jumps here and let me call this is a hole here this electron also jumps here and a hole is created this electron jumps here and what is created in here hole let me call it as conduction electrons free electrons and what are these now here these are the holes now here okay now what happens so this is electrons and this is holes when electric field is created here okay let us understand there is an electric field let me call i have connected it to uh, positive and what is this now here negative let me call it as positive and let me call it as negative and electric field is created what happens when? when electric field is created electrons move towards the positive potential then what happens these are free electrons and now they are able to move here right so they they will move towards what we say here positive potential and the current which i got due to motion of these electrons let me call it as ie that is current due to the electrons then what happens to the holes do you remember holes we say that holes move towards a negative potential but do understand holes will never move then why we say that holes move towards positive potential let us understand when the electric field is created not only these electrons move these electrons also move since it is in valence band itself it does not require much energy to move in that band itself so this electron this electron moves to this hole okay when this occupies this hole and what is created here hole is created if this electron moves upwards then what is created here hole is created means the electrons are actually moving up but what we can see that we can see that holes are moving uh, towards the negative potential so that I, I say that holes move towards the negative potential but do understand holes cannot move right since the electrons are moving upwards we feel that holes are moving downwards and this is the current and what is this current let me call it as IH current due to motion of 
whole sum here, right? So now what is the total current again? The total current is the sum of a current due to electrons, current due to holes. Electron current plus hole current gives what we say again? Total current. Do remember, as the temperature increases, more number of electrons jump from balance band to conduction band, then it increases the conductivity. Let me conclude that as the temperature increases, what increases now here? Conductivity increases now here, right? Okay, then one thing what you need to notice is how many electrons are there? Conduction electrons, let me call it simply electrons. How many electrons are there? Four electrons. How many holes are there now here? Four holes. But by this, we, I shall con conclude that number of electrons is equal to number of holes in case of what we say here, intrinsic semiconductors. But even though when the temperature reaches to the room temperature, there is no much conductivity. So we are not, it is these intrinsic semiconductors are not having much practical applications. So we need to go with other type of conductors. So uh, when we add something to the pure semiconductors the conductivity increases so what is that that we will be studying in extrinsic semiconductor so second type of semiconductors is about extrinsic semiconductors so extrinsic means we need to add something external so it is called as extrinsic semiconductors extrinsic semiconductors are doped semiconductors means there is a pure semiconductor and we are adding some impurities to it. So what is the meaning of impurities? Impurity atoms in here. Okay. Let us say there we, are, we add small amount of suitable impurities. Uh, impurity atoms are added to the pure semiconductors. So what is the meaning of suitable impurity? The atom which we need to add, they should satisfy some conditions. So what are the some conditions? The atoms of what we are adding that should be of same size of silicon or germanium and it should not distort the crystal structure right if the uh, impurity atom is satisfied satisfy these two conditions we can add those atoms to the pure semiconductors okay let us understand small amount of super impurity atoms atoms are added to the pure semiconductor and this process is called as a doping and the impurity atoms which are added those are called as dopants okay Dopants are of two types now here. Let us take one is pentavalent and another one is trivalent. Do you understand? Silicon and germanium are tetravalent. One we take plus five, one we take minus uh, plus three now. Here. Okay, one is pentavalent, another one is trivalent. If you add a pentavalent impurities, then it will become N type semiconductor. If you add a trivalent impurity, it will become P type of semiconductor. Uh, do remember the classification of extrinsic semiconductors depends upon which type of impurities you are adding. Okay, let us understand these two now. Okay, let me start with the N type semiconductors. So, N type semiconductors are the semiconductors which are formed by adding pentavalent impurities. Okay, there was earlier pure semiconductor. Since the conductivity was not uh, uh, that much enough at the room temperature, we are converting into extrinsic semiconductor. Okay, pure semiconductor, we are adding pentavalent impurity. What is that mean? Phosphorus. How many electrons are there? For five electrons are there, right? So, we can add phosphorus or arsenic or antimony. So, what happens if you add? Let us understand here. Okay, this is the same diagram which I had taken earlier. Okay. Let us make a little bit of uh, correction here, right? So earlier there was a silicon, but now instead of silicon, there is phosphorus. Let us think it of what happens now here. So earlier there were uh, four electrons. Now how many electrons are there? Five electrons. One, two, three, four, five. And one electron is free, and that electrons will conduct now here. Okay. So since we are adding pentavalent atoms, what happens? What happens to the conduction? Let us understand by using the band theory. Okay, one is valence band and another one is conduction band. Okay, I told you, these are the bonded electrons. Where are the bonded electrons present? Bonded electrons are always present in the valence band. Okay, so these are the electrons. So as we increase the temperature, what happens? Some electrons get the sufficient thermal energy and they jump to the conduction band. Okay, so what, what is created here? Vacancy is created and what is that vacancy called? holes now okay these electrons also jump here these electrons also jump here and what are created okay holes are created but there is another one uh, uh, atom extra what is that time here phosphorus and where is the energy level of that do remember the energy level of the phosphorus is slightly below the conduction band okay let me call it as ED that is donor energy level do you understand 
this atom donates one extra electron for the conduction that's why that impurity is called as donor impurity and where is the energy level of donor atom here the energy level is slightly below what we say in a conduction band right as the temperature was increasing here these electrons jump to the conduction band there are electrons in the donor atom also those also jump and what we say here the electrons which are present that will jump to the conduction band so let us take these two are the conduction band these are the electrons which jump from what we say in donor atom okay now by seeing this when electric field is created electrons move this side and even the volts also will move but it moves downwards now right towards the if it is positive potential and it is a negative potential when electric field is applied electrons move here holes move here comparatively electrons are much more than that of holes okay let us understand here for instant let me take how many electrons are there one two three four five six how many holes are there here one two three four but sir, non natural if, if you say number of electrons are much more greater than the number of holes because we are adding uh, <clears throat> not number of uh, impurities so that the number of uh, uh, electrons will be more than the of number of holes do you remember here the number of electrons is greater than the number of holes okay right so conduction is mainly due to electrons do you remember conduction happens by both now here right so let me call electrons are more let me call it as majority charge carriers here holes are less let me call it as minority charge carriers so even though the conduction is due to both now here it is mainly due to what we say here majority charge carriers okay. means the conductivity increased not only by increasing temperature conductivity increased by increasing the impurities also right so whenever there is an uh, uh, semiconductor where number of electrons are greater than the number of holes then that type of semiconductor is called as n type semiconductor right okay now let us understand about the p type of semiconductors so these are the semiconductors which are formed by adding trivalent impurities so what are trivalent impurities let us take it may be aluminum gallium or indium which has three valence electrons now okay this kind of impurities are added to pure semiconductors then what we get them p type of semiconductors we get okay let us understand here the diagram is same here earlier i had added phosphorus now i have, i am adding aluminum right so how many valence electrons are there three valence electrons so one Two and three, but there is vacancy here. Now, here, let me call it as hole. Now, here. okay. Since the vacancy is there, it can accept an electron from the neighboring atom. So these kind of impurities are called as acceptor impurities. Okay, trivalent atom accepts one electron from neighboring atom. That's why it is called as acceptor impurity. Let us understand this by the band theory. Now, here. okay. So where are these electrons present? They are present in the valence band. What happens when we increase the temperature? As we increase the temperature, these electrons jump. Now, here. okay. They jump. to the conduction band what is created here hole is created these electrons also jump to the conduction band and what is created here hole is created but uh, i have not drawn uh, still the energy level of the added atom here what is that atom here aluminum that is acceptor now okay where is the energy level that energy level is slightly above the valence band let me call it as ea that is acceptor energy level okay what happens now here these electrons can jump from here to here of course these electrons also can jump to the acceptor energy level so these electrons jump to the acceptor energy level and what is created here hole and these electrons also jump here then what is created here hole is created when electric field is applied uh, electrons move towards some positive potential and these holes move towards negative potential but comparatively holes are more than that of electrons if number of holes is greater than number of electrons so that we can call it as n type semiconductor here conduction takes place due to both but it takes mainly due to what we say here holes so this type of semiconductors are called as p type semiconductors okay in short there is a semiconductor if number of electrons is equal to number of holes let me call as intrinsic semiconductor if number of electrons is greater than number of holes let me call it as n type semiconductors if number of holes is greater than number of electrons then it is called as p type semiconductors thank you